Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for another Water Washout video. And yes, this video will conclude the quarterfinal rounds for the Water Washout tournament. We got three more matches to view to look forward to, so let's get on with the first one. Alright, and our first matchup here sees the Patagosaurus squaring off against Alpha Sukamimus. Patagosaurus looked pretty good in the first round. That water sword definitely did some damage. And look at that strength, over 2,000. That's really good. Especially for a, his, especially for a dinosaur with 1,200 base strength. Anyway, in the blue corner, we have the Alpha Sukamimus. And this guy was pretty decent in the first round as well. That Aqua Whip there, an Alpha Dart, was quite a trollsy move. <laughs> Um, I don't know who will win this one. I, th I think they're quite equally matched. I mean, the Patagosaurus has all the strength for now, but the Suko has quite has its strength anyway. I, I don't know. Just have to see, won't we? And the Patagosaurus does get off the first hit. It's an Aqua Whip. A decent amount of damage. Oh, also, I should mention, the winner of this matchup will play the Spinosaurus in the semis. Oh, we have a tie. And another tie. Ooh, but the Patagosaurus gets off another hit. Is in complete control of this match so far. That's a wall smash, smashing the Suko against the wall. <laughs> like it would do that with his thin neck. Wow. Wow, the Suko didn't even get a hit. Not one hit from the Suko Mimus. I mean, they got damage off through a tie, but, you know, that's not a hit hit. Well, the Batagosaurus won the first round in a dominant display. But, you know, it's still all to play for. So let's move on to round two. Alright, on to round two, and will the Sukumimus get a hit? Or will the Patagosaurus continue to dominate? Hmm. Now, I think the Suko will win this round. He does have the terrain advantage, as they are battling in the Alpha Arena. So the Suko should feel right at home here. And look at that already, an Alpha Dart right off the bat from the Alpha Sukumimus. But, where will it land? Yum, bong. Ooh, it's the um, Alpha Droid guy. Oosh. Lots of damage dealt, and a bit of poison to boot. And that's already better than what the Suko did in the first round. Taken over half of the Patagosaurus's health, a very effective attack. Ooh, the Patagosaurus going for a crit, but remember, the Suko does have that Dino Stuffer. Ooh. The Patagosaurus, HP in the red, but it does get off an Aqua Whip. So it is going to fight back. Ooh, another hit from the Patagosaurus, coming back strong here. Despite the Suko's strong start, a wall smash smashing the Suko into the Alpha Cage. And doing no damage to the Alpha Cage. And all of a sudden... Oh my goodness. <laughs> the Patagosaurus has got three hits in a row. And the Alpha Suko Minus is going down. That's kind of a surprise. Well, that was quite quick, wasn't it? The Patagosaurus making short work of the Alpha Suko. And will advance to the semis to play the Spinosaurus. Right, on to our next match. Alrighty then, and in this matchup, we see the little sauropod, the Gondwana Titan, squaring off against Baryonyx. The Gondwana Titan, a good win against Jobori in the first round. We saw what the little sauropod can do. 
Doom, 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 doom. But in the blue corner, we're gonna we're gonna see a Baryonyx. Defeated the Shunosaurus in a first round contest that was so tight, so tight. But the Gonwana Titan is gonna have to be wary of that Aqua Whip. Did decent amounts of damage to the Shunosaurus, and I suspect the Baryonyx will want to try on Gonwana Titan. Ooh, it's a tie. Well, then suits neither of them, really, because they take the same amount of damage, from the looks of it. And another tie. Ooh, but the Baryonyx does get a hit off. And I think that's Dro- I always get it mixed up. I know the Galley one, the Galley is red, but I always get Dromeo and Strufio mixed up. I think that's Strufio. Well, whatever it is, it's doing damage to Gonwana Titan. Ooh, but the Gonwana Titan does strike back. Okay, that's Dromeo, that's Dromeo. Boosh! Uh, not too much damage there, but this will add a bit more damage to it, the Baryonyx. Boosh! Uh, quite an even match so far. This is what we like to see, a nice a nice back and forth head-to-head -head match. But the Gondwana Titan does take the lead here, leaving the Barry's health in the red. Hello <laughs> dribble then. <laughs> oh, and the Gondwana Titan is gonna win the first round. And the Baryonyx goes down. Hey, the two before I die for overkill. The Gonwana Titan showing what little sauropods can do. Right then, on the round two. Alrighty then, on to our on to our second round. And once again, we have the well we we know who the combatants are. <laughs> Ooh, we're fighting on a beach. Could this prove advantageous to the Baryonyx? <laughs> I choked, hang on, need a drink. Right. That's a rock, and that is a pig. Ooh, not a good start from the Gondwana Titan as the Baryonyx gets off an Aqua Whip. And there was a Struffio Minus here for the Struffio Rush. Oh, look at that damage! Almost over half of the Gondwana Titan's health is gone already. And that is what Aqua Whip can do. Ooh, but the Gondwana Titan does strike back with a Tragic Sphere. With a Tupufora and the Stromio Rush. Big hit from the Gondwana Titan. That's crucial, that is. Slip, slip, slap, slip, slap, slip. Take also again, just like Baryonyx did, taking half of its opponent's HP. Massive move that was from the Gonwana Titan. Ooh, the Baryonyx doesn't fall for it this time, and a stomping hammer comes in. Oh, a defeat set. And the Baryonyx evens the score. I didn't get, uh, that took me by surprise there. I didn't think the Stomping Hammer would kill it. But there it is. And we're all square. So that means it comes down to this next round. Alrighty then. On the third and final matchup. But well, it could be, well, it won't be the final matchup if it's a tie, but. It will pretty much be the final matchup between these two. Who will win and who will lose? I mean, does it really matter who wins here? Because whoever wins here will take on Brontekins, and I don't really like either of their odds. <laughs> but we got to have a winner. And the Baryonyx gets the first hit, so it could be him. Um, a good all-rounder Baryonyx, isn't it? Not, doesn't have like all his power in the crest. Quite a good all-rounder. Oop, we have a draw. Oosh! Gone one a Titan, going for that tragic sphere, but not getting it. 
but it does get off a crit with a 2 plus 4 a dive to boot. And just like in the first two rounds, it's quite back and forth between these two. Ooh, the Gone Wanna Titan went for another crit, but the Baryonyx didn't fall for it. And all of a sudden, the Baryonyx is one, at uh, one attack away from the semi final. Oh, is a draw. Will this kill the Gone Wanna Titan? Nope. But a tie, another tie will kill it. But it doesn't need a tie because the Baryonyx is gonna get off an Aqua Whip to finish off Gone Wanna Titan and put an end to the little sauropods days in this tournament. And they've all been close so far, they both matches from Baryonyx. But the Baryonyx just had that extra edge. But I don't think it's going to be enough for him to defeat Brontekins in the semi. But you never know. So well done to Barry for reaching the semis, but that's as far as I think he'll go. Now, on to our final matchup of the quarter-final round. Spiny versus Augustinia. Alrighty then. And at first in the red corner, we have Spiny. Spiny did pretty well in the first round against the Magasaurus. Well, it did well enough to win. But yeah, it did pretty well. Getting some good hits off. We saw what Banana Surprise could do. And yeah, I think Spiny's is a dark horse in this tournament. But, as we saw in the Fire Tournament ages and ages ago, I think, yeah, the quarterfinal was as far as Terry got, so a win here for Spiny will give him bragging rights over Terry. But, in the blue corner, as you can see here, we have the newest water dinosaur in the game, the Augustinia. Um, yeah, it was, a it was pretty good against the Feng in the first round. The Opifacilla Claudia. And I'm so glad that thing got knocked out. So I don't have to pronounce it over and over and over again. So glad. Oh, we start with a tie. There have been quite a few ties in this in this video today. And there's a blunder type effect there from the Augustinia. Nullifying that shockwave and stopping Spiny from getting it off. Oh, it's still not up five. Wow, Blender type is really good. Ooh, Augustine, you're gonna hit. And it is a stun dash. Oosh. Oosh. <laughs> you're gonna be frantically clicking key boards. Ooh, a shockwave from the Augustine. Yeah. Beating Spiny at his, own, at his own game so far. And that's Tata to rock, which means the Augustinia will be going for scissors. Ooh, but Spiny's going for paper, so the Augustinia gets the hit. Ooh, and another shockwave to boot, so I think this might be curtains for Spiny this round. Oh, oh, a tie. Spiny's still in it. But really needs to get off a hit. And he's not getting one. But Augustinia coming in. And the Tappy Jar is coming in for Tiebreaker. Not that it's needed. Because Spiny is going to die here. Oosh. Yep, that's curtains for Spiny. And Augustinia takes, wins the first round. On to round two. Alright then, on to the second round and can Spiny even the score or will the Augustinia continue to impress? Uh, we didn't see too much from Spiny in the first round, I think he only got like one hit off. The shockwaves though from the Augustinia did prove effective. And as I said earlier in the first round, it's beat it, he's beating Spiny at his own game. And Augustine, you guess the first hit off. And another shockwave. Where's this guy's technique? It's like 300, it's rubbish. He's getting shockwave off every time. Like, you saw Brontekins in the other video. Like, he got like a thousand technique, didn't only got Aqua Javelin off once. 
Anyway, I digress. Back to the match. Well, you can't go scissors. Can't go scissors. Can't go scissors. It's a tie. <laughs> it's going to be a tie, man. <laughs> Spiny, you got to stop these shockwaves from happening. Oh, and he does get his foot a hit off, and it's a critical one. No, he got a hit off on Augustinio in the first round. Oh, big damage there, big damage. And a shockwave to boot. So Augustinia is going to get a taste of his own medicine. And it's bye bye to rock. Which means Spiny will be going scissors. And so will Augustinia. Oh, a crit from the Spiny there. And that will even the score as Augustinia goes down. I think it'll go down here. Yeah? yeah. Spiny even in the score there. So you know what that means? It's all going to come down to this next round. <laughs> that should be like a meme how many times I say that. Anyway. Round three. Alrighty then. On to the third round of this matchup. And, well, we know the combatants. We have Spiny in the red corner and Augustinia in the blue corner. Augustinia was quite impressive in the first round and started strong, but Spiny did come back to even the score. But, which one of these two will win? And go on to face the Spino Tector in the semis. And, um, interestingly enough, whoever wins this, I think has a good chance of beating the Spinal Tech in the Zemis, whoever wins, but it will be a tall order. Ooh, no shockwave there from Spiny, but he does get the first hit. Ooh, there's a tie. There's a blunder type effect from Augustinia, nullifying our softening beam. And there's a hit from Augustinia, and the Tappy Jaras for Tiebreaker, and a Stun Dash, and a Segnosaurus for Stun Dash. Big move this from the Augustinia. Especially if he gets Shockwave off. Which he does. Customary. And no matter what happens, this, the Augustinia will not sustain damage this turn. Because if it's a tie, the Tappy Jaros will come in. And but if the Augustinia just hits it, he hits it. Just like that. It's quite a good combo, actually. I like it. Maybe someone should use it for my big tournament, wink wink. Ooh, the tiebreaker wearing down Spiny. But a big crit coming in from Spiny, a banana surprise. That was the turning point in the previous round against the Augustinia, and it could be the turning point here. Especially with a shockwave, that changes everything. Now all of a sudden, the Augustinia is on the ropes. Because Spiny will be going for a crit. Well, he can't go rock, but he can go scissors. Saving himself there, but nullifying the Spiny's crit. Oh, this is a good matchup, isn't it? Oh, the Augustinia's done. Oh, that's kind of a shame, actually. The Augustinia, despite putting up a really good fight against Spiny, is defeated by Spiny. Kind of a snatch, kind of a smash and grab there from Spiny. Because I felt like the Augustinia was on top for a lot of that, but as we saw there, Spiny did manage to snatch a win and snag a place in the semis where he will face Spino Tactor. Right, now that that's out of the way, let's look at the matchups for the semi final. Right, and this is how the format looks for the semi final round. Here we'll have the Spinosaurus take on Patagosaurus, and then in the middle bracket we'll have Brontokins against Baryonyx. And last but not least, the match I'm probably looking forward to the most, the Spinotector against Spiny. Oof. And some surprises here, with the, especially the Patagosaurus. I didn't think Patagosaurus would get this far. Uh, the Spinosaurus, not re these three, not really a surprise to see these three in the semis. Well, this one was quite open, so any of these could have been here. And this one, yeah, the Spiny, Spiny was probably favourite here. But the, I was a bit disappointed to see the Augustinia lose that last match. But there we go. And that is how the semi-final looks. So I hope you enjoyed. And this is Stranger Gamer signing out.